morning, Pastor Steve here. First Peter 5, 3 says, Neither is being lords over God's heritage, but by being examples to the flock. Somewhere over the years, the term minister has kind of been, been uh, tarnished somehow. It's fallen into disrepair, I guess. And we see ourselves as the valiant warriors leading a horde in the battle. Uh, we picture themselves on the lead horse making the Aragorn speech to rally the troops, and I hope that's true in some sense. But at heart, we who serve are called to be that, servers. You know, several words are, are used as minister in the scriptures, but the basic one is diakonos, minister, servant, deacon. If you call the master's example, you'll have the essence of the passage. Remember in John 13 when Jesus washed the disciples' feet? You know, Peter kind of rebelled a little bit. <clears throat> the servant of the house was supposed to do that. And when he finished washing his feet, he put wrapped his clothes back on. He said, you check out what I've done here, guys. You call me teacher, you call me Lord, and I've washed your feet. But I am your Lord. I am your master. Now, if I, your master, have washed your feet, then you should wash each other's feet as well. In other words, serve one another. I've given you, he said, an example that you should do as I have done for you. Because no servant is greater than his master. If you know these things, he continues, you will be blessed if you do them. In Matthew 20, 26, he says, whoever will be great among you, let him be your minister. And in Mark, he said, even the Son of Man came not to be served, but to serve and give his life a ransom. I am. That gets me. I need to surrender my wants and wishes and desires to the Master and seek to be, by His grace, that sort of heart, the servant leader heart. And you want to know something? Any follower of Jesus ought to want this heart as well. Upon to that, Pastor Steve.